idols and things that we often turn to to run away from reality is sometimes because we feel like we can't be as real as we need to be with the Lord and him accept us. Hello and welcome to With My Father, with myself, your host, Deborah Aya. I'm really excited to have you here for episode three and today we're going to be speaking about dealing with overwhelming emotions. This last week for me, it's been a week, let's say, it's been a week, it's been a tough one. I have been dealing with all the things, all the emotions, big, 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 big emotions. I thought that today's episode, we could look at some of the ways that I believe that the Lord is teaching me how to manage difficult, painful, uncomfortable emotions. For context, I actually have ADHD. I was diagnosed at the age of 27. I know that there's a lot of language online around being an empath or being a highly sensitive person. Emotions are not negative things. Emotions are a part of the ways in which we reflect the image of our creator, right? However, we know that in Christ, the only being that ought to direct and lead and uh, dictate how it is that we live is the spirit of the Lord and so where our emotions are causing us to feel out of control where our emotions are causing us to feel like do you know what I actually can't do the things that I've been called to do in Christ then we know that we need some help <laughs> then we know that something might need some adjusting something might need some renewing something might need uh an infilling of grace and empowerment from the Lord and I think an area that has been really helpful for me in this last week has been communing with other believers and just being really really radically honest about the feelings I'm having shame has been an emotion that I didn't realize was lurking so often in terms of the ways in which I can show up in the world or even the ways in which I can show up with the Lord I realized that there was an element of shame that I was feeling towards how much help I really need from Jesus to do the things that he calls me to I need him in this last week it's been close to that time of the month and so I have been feeling things extra 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 intensely and so I've been finding it really hard to not be overcome to not feel like Lord I just can't really do the things that are on my to-do list the things that are not absolutely essential even the things that are absolutely essential where's the strength where's the energy I'm lacking it Lord ebb me so Being really honest with my community has been really helpful, but I realise that even in order to be open and honest with the people around you about the fact that you're struggling with your emotions, it requires an element of overcoming, I think, the temptation towards shame. And shame is such a complex emotion, right? Because sometimes I think there is a place for legitimate shame if we've carried out something wrong something sinful if we have grieved the Lord in some way I think shame has its place and I think it's what we do with the shame that determines whether or not it will limit what it is that I believe the Lord would like to carry out through it right and we know shame if it's not handled rightly if it's not brought before the Lord in prayer brought before his cross brought before him It can become a thing that the enemy uses to accuse us and cause us to run and hide from him like Adam and Eve. And so I realized that I was dealing with a shame towards just how weak I really am. I was dealing with a feeling of shame towards just how much sometimes I feel like my emotions are just completely out of my control. I was dealing with a shame towards the number of times that I might begin a thing and be raring to go but then challenge comes, trial comes and my emotions make me feel incapacitated and I was just kind of here like Lord I don't really know how to approach you because I feel like I should be beyond this now. I feel like I shouldn't need your help here anymore. I feel like I should just be able to exercise the self-control that you've told me is mine in Christ Jesus, right? And I know what the scriptures say in this area and yet I am finding it so hard to apply them and 
the humility it takes to to keep on coming to the Lord and to keep on saying, Lord, I, I need your strength to apply the things that you've taught me. I need your strength to show up in the areas that I know I need to. The Lord has been kind of teaching me and highlighting to me through the experience of really intense emotions in this last week of how shame has been functioning to cause me to lean into pride and to lean into covering up and to lean into trying really hard to to do things in my own power in a way that he hasn't called me to and so one of the things I think is really important in dealing with overwhelming intense emotions is resisting shame is bringing even if you are feeling shame to him is believing that the Lord can empathize with our weaknesses is believing that the Lord loves us is uh, choosing to lean in rather than lean out is choosing to bring yourself bring your soul quivering quaking ashamed afraid tired overwhelmed whatever bringing all of that emotion to him and believing the truth that he isn't going to compound your shame he's not going to compound the feeling of helplessness the feeling of lord i wish i could do this and bring it to you and be pleasing to you without needing you as much as i realize that i need you is choosing to believe that jesus took our shame on that cross right and it's choosing to even be so vulnerable as to say lord i'm struggling to believe that you're not ashamed of me right now and there's a scripture in hebrews that i love and it 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 makes it clear that the lord is not ashamed to call us his brethren and i think when dealing with intense emotions that can lead us to lack in the area of self-control it can be really hard to keep coming it can be really hard to keep showing up to keep on being like lord wow i thought that at this point in my walk i wouldn't need you in this way i thought that at this point i would be able to do this and i just can't it, it can be really hard to keep showing up and i think the lord is renewing my mind in terms of how i view how he views my weakness he would like you to grow in the understanding Understanding that weakness is attractive to him yes he calls us to mature yes he calls us to grow in him yes there is a a a call to not remaining in the places that we were when he first saved us and called us but we know that there's also a call to be childlike there's also a call to remain in that posture of humility and i think sometimes depending on what your experience was like in childhood or in education it can be tempting to believe that the Lord's attitude to weakness is the way that maybe the adults in your life reacted to your needs reacted to your weakness and it's just not he is not man the Lord is not man he delights in weakness he delights when we bring our need to him continually he delights to fill us up where we lack he's not ashamed of you he's not annoyed at you for needing him he's not tired of you coming he's not frustrated that you still need him the lord is calling you to come there's a scripture that he's put on my heart in this week that i've been meditating on and i've had to apply in tears i've had to come crying to him repeatedly and it is cast your cares upon the lord because he cares for you and one of the hardest things to do is to believe that the care the love the kindness that the lord has towards us is not wavering it's not changing that it is constant and that it is determined to meet us at our point of need and to not do so reluctantly god is not reluctant to help you god is not reluctant to grant you the grace that you need the bible tells us that sometimes when we cry out for deliverance or breakthrough from a certain affliction his answer is no and he says that his grace is sufficient for us because his power is made perfect in weakness whenever you might feel like your emotions are overwhelming it could be any emotion fear shame worry grief longing i've been longing in this week i'm in a season of life where God has been doing phenomenal, incredible things in my life. 
Uh, but at the same time, I'm longing for him to answer certain prayers I've been praying for a long time. And in this week, my longing became almost too painful to endure. It, it, it just felt so much. And I was like, Lord, I, I, I really, really want you to come through in this area. I really feel like I can no longer just stay in this place of waiting it it physically hurts <laughs> please help and every time even within 24 hours that this pain or this longing has felt intense and it's felt overwhelming and I've taken it to him he's granted the grace uh, but it's still been painful it's still been it's still been an ouchie right and I think one of the things that the Lord would like us to grow in is our willingness to keep coming and to keep receiving and so my encouragement to you in this week is keep coming the Lord is not ashamed of you he's not tired of you bring even your wanting to be strong to him bring it he is a safe place he loves you he sees you he cares for you and he wants to continually meet your every need don't listen to the accuser don't listen to Satan and your flesh that will tell you that you shouldn't need to come. Idols and things that we often turn to to run away from reality is sometimes because we feel like we can't be as real as we need to be with the Lord and him accept us. Or I can't be that real with him again because I just cried to him last night. So if I'm doing it again, it's me lacking in faith faith and God in his kindness has just been showing me that no that that image of me that you have is not me and at times when I find it hard to believe I just tell the Lord God I'm finding it hard to believe that I can be this honest this real with you it feels unholy to say some of the things that's on my heart and in that place the Holy Spirit grants the grace he grants the power to open up my mouth and share what the Lord can see anyway the Lord delights to help you he delights to see you coming and he delights to meet your need and so Lord God I'm just praying that in this week you would bless this one listening I'm praying Lord that you would strengthen them to lean into their absolute need for you you've created us to depend and rely upon you for life and strength and everything and you've promised that those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And so, Lord, would you renew the strength of this one listening? Would you empower them to keep coming, to keep being childlike, to resist the lies that would make them believe that you are tired of them coming, that you're frustrated with them, that you won't help them? Lord, help them to keep coming and grant them grace to process their emotions with you and walk out everything that you've called them to in this life, in this week, even today. In the name of Jesus, I have prayed. Amen. I hope that this has been a blessing to you. If it has, let me know in the comments and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Adios.